So as many of you know, 1.19 is on the rise. It was announced to come out at 3 p.m. EST at 9 o'clock EST last night. So here is basically everything we know so far about what is going to happen with the update without any like moderator insight. This is just from watching the trailer very like closely, skipping back, going forward, going to different timestamps with people noticing. Uh, shout out to Lancaster and Grizo for helping with this. A little bit of Drew Gaming as well, but he kind of left early. So this is everything we know so far about Twisted 1.19. Also, I am going to be a little bit quiet during this video since uh, about half my family is uh, still sleeping as I'm recording this. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the easiest to point out, the most obvious change is to Sneed. There's obviously a lot of suspension around Sneed for this update, with Sneed getting a completely revamped power plant along with a completely new dam somewhere on the map. I'm assuming it's going to be on the new part of the map because we do know that they're expanding it. Which is where we're going to go next, into the map expansions. Alright, so the map expansions, this was the hardest one to discover. So there's a screenshot that you can see where they are using Freecam to hover over Wadena. And you can see the north side of the map and the west side of the map. You can see that there's no changes to the north. The west is too far to see, but we know we're doing it east somehow. So that means it can't be west, and it's obviously not north from the screenshot. So that leaves south and east to be the expansion. So there's going to be some new Chaser Warehouse vehicles, and those vehicles are going to be, I believe, the Scout, and then another vehicle that I cannot think of the name off the top of my head. It is a Dodge Ram with a very absurd looking mezzonet though, and that's really it for new warehouse vehicles. We don't really have much information on them. So something we do know is that there is going to be a new town along the river somewhere. Now this could be on a new part of the expanded map, but we doubt it is. We are pretty sure that it is somewhere on the river, somewhere in between Hipping and Hiram. However, we're pretty sure it's closer in the range between Viroqua and Hiram. We think it is going to be maybe potentially an expansion to Helma, but we're not sure. So we don't really know much about this one. This is either maybe east of Iroquois, potentially. Maybe it's north of Iroquois. But we definitely know we're getting at least something new close to that area. So now another one of the biggest changes is the area with the lakes. All of the lakes have been slightly altered and moved most most of them are much larger now and they're all connected by rivers now so what this could mean is potentially we could have water vehicles such as boats and i know that could be very effective for storms so it'll be cool to see if we could potentially get water probes maybe now another thing that i did want to point out is there is supposedly new damage physics i'm slightly skeptical on this one but grizo and lancaster are set on the fact that there are new damage physics so i kind of have to include this somehow i think it looks very similar i don't know it might have been slightly altered it does look kind of different it definitely looks smoother but it could just be ran on a much better server since it is a development build move on to probably the most exciting part at least to me anyway is the fact that there are finally aviation physics into the game and they did show that there are a 
there are drone physics in the game. You can see the drone physics in this clip right here that I'm showing on screen. And I really hope that they are camera drones and not probe drones because if they're probe drones that is going to destroy the economy of the game if they're probe drones that is going to destroy the doppler on wheels entirely because the doppler on wheels is going to be more expensive and less accurate than them if they are probe drones so i'm really hoping that they're just camera probes or uh, camera drones that is and uh if they are uh, probe drones, that's going to be really hard to sort out for the game. I'm not really sure how they're going to incorporate that. Now, this is another one of the smaller teams, but I definitely think it is well needed. You can see around the map that there are new water towers everywhere. And the water towers are nice because they say the name of the town on them. There's, so there's only two they show like really well in the... Uh, trailer though it's the one in hazelton and the one in wadena that they show really well and i think they really did a great job on these water towers as they look great and there were a lot of problems with the old water towers as they didn't look very good they were just three base models that was a cone a cylinder and a head-shaped dome on the top of where the water would go and the uh old water towers couldn't even be raided by the national weather service whenever they were hit by a tornado even though they were supposed to be able to raid it unlike some objects like the bridge in viroqua the sneed power plant and other famous landmarks and different things like that but uh yeah i think the new water towers is a much needed thing Now another thing that they did add that is another one of the very big changes is uh, the Wadena State Park. Now I think this is a really good opportunity for them to add a more natural area to the game and potentially an area where tornadoes would be a little bit more difficult to see which is something I've been after to see for quite a while now. Now I think the Wadena State Park is going to be in a little bit of land. Well, since it's called the Wadena State Park, I'm assuming it's going to be somewhere in Wadena County. So, in near Wadena, so I'm going to assume it's the empty bit of land in between Wadena, Welchenville, and, Tan and Tannekeller. So, I think this is a really good opportunity for the game to add something like this. Now, uh, we are aware that there are going to be a couple of vehicle revamps because of leaks. Now, only one of them was actually shown in the trailer, which was, we know that they, we are getting a completely revamped turret to the TIV-2. And I think that is a very much so needed. It looks like the actual TIV-2 turret instead of like a weird looking box with a couple windows and hatches. So, I think this is a very needed change to the TIV-2. And another thing we know is there is going to be a full rebuild to the Dominator 3, which I think is much needed. So the Dominator 3 is hopefully going to look much better now. They did not show it off in the trailer at all, though. So, yeah, the Dominator 3 is something I'm really excited to see once I actually get into the game. And now I did save probably... Well, I wouldn't say the best for last, because it, it isn't my favorite, but I know a lot of you guys have been looking forward to this one since uh, they did originally leak it, but we are getting very, very large add-ons to a couple of towns, and the biggest one is Hazleton. We are finally getting a new area in that empty bit of land in Hazleton. So you may notice an area in Hazleton where there's just a couple of EXP houses and they're gonna get rid of all of those EXP houses and I think there might be a lower bound in there too, but that doesn't really matter because they're adding a Wilmart to Hazleton and they're adding another EF4 rated building right next to it, I believe. I'd have to look at the screenshot again, but it might be just the Wilmart. I'm not entirely sure about the E4 rated empty building next to it, but it'll definitely be excited to see. And I think that is going to basically do it for everything we do know so far about 1.19. And I am looking forward to see you guys all in the update in a couple of hours. I will do my first chase in a private server later. And if I get that video up in time, I 
do plan on going through public service to see if there's any changes there so that is going to do it for this one I do hope you enjoyed and i'm really looking for this update and i hope you guys are too and that'll do it for this one and peace